Ross, there's one thing for sure. Wireless boom is the way to go in these days, right? Especially on set where it's so demanding and everybody's moving around. And Shure has an amazing wireless option for this called the AD3. Let's check it out. So Ross, the first thing that I notice about the 83 is it has an incredible form factor. What can you tell me about this? So the 83 is part of our Axion Digital series of transmitters. Um, like other AD transmitters, it is a one-way street. So you're doing a, a traditional RF transmission from the plug-on transmitter. It is a wideband transmitter, like all Axion Digital transmitters. You've got 470 to 616, the full remaining bandwidth within the UHF band. Um, AD3 is also compatible with our SB900B lithium ion rechargeable battery, or you can use AA's by default. And of course, yes, plug in your favorite boom mic of choice. We've got the VP89 series from Shure. Quick plug there within our plug on transmitter video. Uh, but any compatible with any microphone you want to plug in. Absolutely. So transmit from the AD3 to an ADX 5D portable receiver or an AD 4D or AD 4Q rack mount receiver for a two or four channel option. Very good. Now I noticed one thing, this guy doesn't have the X in it, like some of the other transmitters like the, AD, uh, the ADX1. Yes, so very important distinction. Um, AD and ADX are all transmitters within the Axion digital family. They're all part of the family. Everybody's part of the family, Cool. yes. Um, ADX transmitters can be remotely controlled. They are what we call show link enabled or show link capable is another way you'll see it described. That means I can do a 2.4 transmission from the AD610 show link access point back to an ADX transmitter for the purpose of controlling all settings on the ADX transmitter. What frequency it's broadcasting on, gain, everything you could do with a transmitter in your hand, you can do from a remote location via the show link access point. But the AD3 is not show link capable. So just be aware, if you're using ADX1 or ADX1M body pack transmitters and you've been enjoying remotely controlling them, an AD3 is not show link enabled. But you know what, that's not necessarily a deal killer for me. Because if you think about it, you're putting your ADX ones on your talent. You're putting them underneath their clothes, putting them wherever it needs to go, and then you're kind of setting them off where the boom operator or the utility is the one using this. So they generally have a little bit more quicker access to it where if they needed to change something, maybe you can't necessarily change it on the fly during the middle of a take, but you can do it in between takes. So again, you know, X is amazing and the ability to control everything is phenomenal, but it's not, like I said, a deal killer. You can still use this and be able to, you know, make your finite adjustments you know, in between and, takes. And that's the workflow we've been seeing is if I've got an ADX 5D portable receiver in my bag or in my camera and I've got an AD3 with a shotgun on my boom, I am still sort of in one place able to get to everything I need to get to as opposed to those body pack transmitters which walk away. Well, everyone, take a look at the AD3 inside of True Audio today.